The schedule is out for the 2020 NFL season. So let's go through it week by week and let's do some way too early predictions for the year for your Minnesota Vikings. So let's start off kicking out week one. And we start out with one of the biggest games of the year. The Packers are coming to a town and this one's going to be crazy. It might be have division implications right off the bat. It's going to be a wild one and I think uh, it's going to be it's going to be a tough way to start the year with all of our young corners against Aaron Rodgers and I don't think we have a great neutralizer for Devontae Adams. So week one I'll give it to the division champs and the Vikings start out all and one. Week two uh, going to Indianapolis to play the Colts, a uh, bit of a veteran team over there, and I think the Vikings can beat that one and get to back to one and one. And then the week three, the Titans come to town, and I think the Titans were an overachieving team last year. I don't think Ryan Tannehill can have a redemption, a back-to-back rate seasons like he did at the second half of the season last year. Uh, Derrick Henry is going to be tough, but can he maybe as dominant as he was second half of last year? I don't think so, and I think the Vikings take it, and we're 2-1. and one. Uh, Week 4, we're going to the Texas to play the Texans. Uh, the Texans have one of the better complete rosters in the, in the league. Deshaun Watson, one of the better quarterbacks. It doesn't get a whole lot of attention. Uh, so I think we dropped that one. And we are now at a nice 2-2 two and two for the first quarter of the year. Uh, week 5. Uh, of course, we're going to Seattle for yet another primetime game, Sunday Night Football in Seattle. And Seattle's one of the toughest places to, places to play in. Are the Vikings due for a W against the Seahawks? Probably, but nevertheless, I say we probably drop this one once again, and we drop back down to 2-3. and three. Week 6. The uh, Falcons come into town, and I think the Vikings kind of have their number. The Falcons just had a, the complete nosedive after their Super Bowl uh, appearance. Uh, so I think the Vikings take it back, and we jump back to 500, 3-3. Three three. Uh, week 7s are by. I'd say that's a little bit early, uh, but for a young team, it may, might be good to get some of those fundamentals down again and kind of get back to the basics. The best part of our bye week is it just happens to take place the week before our rematch against Green Bay. So we are be rejuvenated, oh, hopefully 100% healthy at this point, and going against uh, the Green Bay Packers in Lambeau. So do the Vikings have a good chance? I think they do. Our DBs have seen Aaron Rodgers, they've seen Devontae Adams, and they might be able to figure out something and neutralize them, them enough. But I don't think it will be quite enough. If this was at home, I think the Vikings could take it. But in Green Bay, I see the Vikings uh, losing it and dropping a game below 500 and being at 3 and 4. Uh, but good news, we're going back home to play the Lions. The Lions are definitely a sleeper team in the NFC North, with Matt Stafford coming back, being one of the most underrated quarterbacks in the league. But I don't think that's quite enough. For the Lions to beat the Vikings, and we move back to 504 and 4. And then we're going to our least favorite field to play on, uh, Soldier Field, and our least favorite time, Monday Night Football. This one could be a disaster, or both things could cancel out, and the Vikings beat the Bears 35 7. And I don't see a whole lot in between, but I'll side with the former. The Vikings will lose it. Dropping below 500 once again. The seesaw win one, lose one season continues. Week 11. We are, we are back home uh, against the Cowboys. And the Cowboys are just so loaded uh, with weapons on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, this one might turn into a shootout, and that's the best way the Vikings could win. But with their wide receivers, with Cooper, with Gallup, and with their first-round pick, C.D. Lamb, with a good quarterback, with a great elite running back, that's just a really tough to see the Vikings taking this one. I think the Vikings definitely have a chance. We seem to kind of have the Cowboys number, but I'm going to give this one to the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, next is Week 12 where the Panthers are coming into town, and most importantly, Teddy is returning the return of Teddy, but he will be not met with happy 
arms by the Vikings defensive players as this one might be the best blowout of the year where the Vikings just thrash Teddy and the Vikings get a, another win and we are move back on track. Week 13, another home game where we're playing the Jaguars. Minshew Mania coming in, into town. It will be get a lot of hype, but I don't think the Jaguars are all that scary and the Vikings take this one as well. Uh, week 14, we are going to the new Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, and I am not buying it. The media is hyping up the Bucks like they're the next great thing. And hey, maybe they, they will be the, the 09 Vikings. But as of right now, I'm not exactly buying into it. And I think the Vikings can go into Tampa Bay and beat the Bucks. Uh, week 15, home against the Bears. This one's going to be a little bit more interesting. The Bears have just had our number the last two years. And I believe we were like 0-4 in our last four uh, games against them. But I think this is one where we finally take it back and get a W against the Bears. And this might be a, just a boring slugfest of a game, like a 9-3 to or something type game. But I do, do think the Vikings can beat the Bears. And with our better offensive tackles, hopefully we can contain Khalil Mack enough and the rest of the interior of their defensive line. And I think the Vikings can bring it home. Week 16, Christmas Day, 3.30 game against the Saints in New Orleans. And you just know this is going to be a crazy game. Every single time the Vikings play the Saints, it's... Nose or it's a nail biter. Games on the line, maybe overtime. A game winning play, last seconds. The last three playoff games have been insane. You have the bounty game in overtime, the miracle game, the last play of the game, of course, and then what happened last year where we walked off in overtime instead. So, what an incredible type of game the Vikings have played when it's against the Saints. So I think this one's going to be crazy. And I do think the Vikings can take this one. We're going to beat the Saints once again. Then week 17, the Vikings are currently sitting at nine wins. This one could be for a playoff spot. This one could be a very tough game. And we're at Detroit, at Forbes Field. And this one's going to be crazy. I think the, the Lions will probably be out of the playoff contention. And the Vikings are going to be locked up with the Packers. The Packers could be have won the division at this point. Maybe they're going for a first-round bye. Maybe the Vikings are going for a first-round bye instead. Uh, but I think this one's going to be very tough. The, the Lions are tough on the road. But I do think the Vikings can win it, and we can get into the playoffs as yet another 10-6 and six team. There's going to be some tough ones, like... Like I said, we're going into New Orleans and beating the Saints, one of the best well-rounded teams in the league. I think the Vikings kind of sort of have their number, especially with Zimmer. And then uh, the Bucks on the road against Tampa Bay. If if it is the 9 Vikings reincarnated with uh, the Tom Brady with Tampa Bay, that that's, again, another really tough game. So this could be... Uh, definitely a 7-9-ish and nine -ish floor for the Vikings, and it could be a very disappointing year. Maybe we won't have a year. Maybe it'll be canceled and it'll be the Rona Bowl uh, come February. But we'll have to see what happens at that point. But I do think the Vikings have yet another good chance to make the playoffs. And hopefully these young guys can even show out. Maybe the Vikings could even win uh, one or two of those games. I thought we would take it. But there we have it. I think the Vikings make it a 10-6, probably wild card team. And it should be another fun year for the team. So give me your thoughts. Give me your score predictions in the comments. And we'll see you guys in the next JLC Vikings video. See you guys then.